we're about to go pick up the RV. Oh my god. For the next week, this is our home. It's time to take the show on the road. The paper towels are going crazy. It's really pretty right now. We're driving through the mountains. Sequoia. Woohoo! Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm driving. <laughs> Hello guys, we are back home in Santa Monica, safe and alive, and we're gonna explain to you everything that just happened because I'm sure you're confused. We were supposed to keep road tripping for the rest of the week, so we have a lot of explaining to do. It's hard to tell this story over and over because like every time we talk about it, I just feel like we relive it and it was really traumatizing. I don't really know where we left off, but basically we got in a pretty bad RV accident. I think that was the scariest moment of our lives. We are pulled over. So we were driving down the mountain. Basically we like stopped for a second to like look at some trees and then continue like kind of like rolling down the mountain. Break a little while going down and then we realized that the brakes just weren't working. We all kind of like got up to the, I was like, oh my God, the car's not braking. Sage like ran forward. We all were like huddled around the steering wheel trying to do everything. It was pretty crazy. Like I hopped out of my seat because I was like sitting behind everyone and like grabbed the wheel. I just think we were like all up in the front. It didn't feel like any of us were like alone in the situation. Felt like we were all together and like, I don't know if it's okay to say and we really haven't even talked about this part yet but maybe our mom was there with us too in that moment because I didn't feel alone at all but what did go through my head was if we keep propelling down this mountain like if we can't figure out a way to stop we're gonna die if we pull it over we might run into a tree we might or, die but at we least we might roll down we, but at least we'll stop and like it was like one or the other so I just screamed like we, we need to pull over so I remember seeing like a sign in front of us and we were headed right to the sign and I was like good that'll slow us down and I I remember hitting the sign. It was probably about 30 seconds of us accelerating down this windy road. And, and trying to brake, like yeah, trying to figure it out. Pressing the parking the brake, brake, throwing it in. We heard like a screeching, but it wasn't like it was st slowing down at all. They made an amazing decision to save our lives in that moment because if we had stopped a few feet earlier, we would have gone down a pretty large ditch into a river. And if we had stopped a few feet later, we might have we crashed into a giant sequoia yeah, tree. It was a or huge another tree. car or another yeah. car or we would have just kept accelerating faster. until yeah. we're probably going like yeah. 80 to 100 miles an hour that and that by so that point scary. if you crash and you're going that yeah. fast like you might and we're going down high chance you're gonna die. Yeah. when we say that we almost died we really came super close to death once the car finally stopped we ended up rolling over a rock and i think this like giant rock actually saved us because it like stopped the car it yeah. was really big yeah. then all of a sudden we smelled gas smoke from the car and that's when i really started freaking out because i thought that the whole rv was gonna blow up and i couldn't open my passenger door you see that in movies like when people can't get out of the car but luckily like we all just jumped out of the front door and it was fine it stopped smoking after a little after the accident happened there was a few cars behind us and this couple who were amazing came up to us and this guy was a dad and he's like i'm a dad i have a daughter like i want to help you girls so he came over to us and he was like you guys should try to pick up everything you can out of the rv everything you might need for the next few hours once you're getting this situated we jumped back in i started taking videos of all the damages on the inside and there was a bunch of damage on the inside as well and we went back in there we saw that the microwave door had fallen off from the accident it must have come off its hinges and it had landed in the seat which was right behind chloe it was like a foot behind chloe's head so it could have easily hit her and it was the seat i was sitting in and if i hadn't jumped out of my seat and grabbed the wheel i don't know i think that that door would have hit me in the head there were a lot of situations where we came really close and all of us came out of that with no injuries except Mia has a scratch on her foot which I keep saying like yeah. we no came scratches. out of it with no scratches but like 
Yeah, has a tiny scratch, a scratch on her foot. Too. We are so grateful to be alive right now. We really did feel like there was someone looking out for us, our mom. I don't know. Like, I just feel like we, like, raised the line of death. Like, it was so close. The man who was helping us, he kind of stood there and helped us through everything. We had no service and no way of contacting anyone. It would be an hour down the mountain. We can't call 911. We can't call AAA. Like, yeah. we couldn't call anyone. So we're so grateful that he was there. We're currently walking across the street right now to this awesome guy's car who is helping us through all of this. It wouldn't go into park. It, it yeah, we tried putting it into park too. Like, I don't know what that would have done. The car just but... wouldn't stop. Thank God you know what to do. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. We'll wait for you to make a few calls and see what's going to happen. The yeah. tow truck guy, it's going to take hours for him to get up here. So you think it's like undrivable yes, now? Yes, it's undrivable. Yeah. The brakes stop working. Yeah, it's not safe to drive that. Excuse me. Hey, we got an RV. I just picked up the three girls, lost its brakes, and is off the side of the road about a mile back, just to let you know. What are they doing? Just happened? Yeah, you guys must have just been right behind us. Yeah. It was all very quick. Well, you're all all right, so that's, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. shaking up. They drove us to the nearest museum, where we started talking to a park ranger. Um, I have a report of an RV going off the road. They lost their brakes. They need assistance. It's on the side of the road. There are no injuries. The party walked up the road, and they're currently with me at the Giant Forest Museum. Okay, they're going to come here, our law enforcement, and they'll help you. They're going to come right here to the Giant Forest okay. Museum, okay? You guys okay? Yeah. I know it yeah. must have been really... Yeah. Difficult yeah. Yeah, we're okay. But no one was injured. Yeah. Okay. 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 And he was telling us, you guys don't even know how lucky you have it. The yeah. fact that we pulled off in the place that we did. He was explaining to us how many accidents happen in Sequoia and how many bad accidents happen. We drove past the RV and we looked at the mountain and yeah, we could have gone off the side of a mountain or just not had anywhere to pull into. Okay, so we're back at a lodge. We're sitting here. We just talked to a sheriff and he's gonna help us. Now is the rough part. We're gonna have to call the guy that we rented the RV from tow the truck we're gonna have to figure out plans for tonight currently in the middle of sequoia where there's no wi-fi or anything i can't get in contact with AAA. I can't call my dad i can't call the guy like we have no way to get to civilization luckily we have this camp ranger who's helping us out it was a bad situation but we just feel so blessed yeah to be okay and we're just happy that it was us who got in the situation and not someone else who could have got more hurt this happened but in the best possible way there's yeah. a lot of mixed it's like, emotions. It's like we feel like blessed and like so happy. We're fine and everything, but it's also the scare alone of that happening. Like we're definitely a little bit traumatized. I am for sure. I think that was the scariest thing and that then, I've ever gone through. Yeah. Sad that that happened. Sad that the RV got destroyed. Yeah. You know, it's not like a big company where they have a million RVs. This the was like their like yeah. family RV that they loved and it was, you they know, put a lot decorated. Of time, and so it's just like unfortunate. I feel a lot of deep sadness for the owners of the RV. Like, we only spent two days in it, and we had such an amazing time. I fell in love with the RV, and so I can't imagine how they must be feeling like this is their baby and, like, almost like a second home for them. But anyway, to continue the story, we're stuck in Sequoia, figuring stuff out, talking to the rangers. We borrowed Front the phone, phone. Yeah, at the museum, <laughs> and we were using that to call everyone. We spent hours, hours in Sequoia trying to figure out a plan. Like, we did not stop. The sheriff drove us to a lodge. We're getting a ride from the cop to find Wi-Fi. No weapons. <laughs> no weapons. If it really was the brakes, which we think it was, like this was inevitable. Like it would have yeah. happened at some point. Yeah. We thought there would be Wi-Fi and there was no Wi-Fi, so we were then again just using the phone at that lodge. We ended up taking a shuttle down and then that shuttle went somewhere and then we took another shuttle down to a museum. Yeah. Take shuttles to get to like every area, like yeah. you can't walk. We're at the lodge that we came to yesterday. We got some food. We're trying to just like chill out a little. We don't want the trip to end because we were just starting. We're gonna try to figure out a situation where we can keep things going. But as for now, the things that we need to figure out first are one, how we're we're gonna get out of Sequoia and to how we're gonna take care of the RV we have to get in contact with the rental company who we got the RV from because they're not answering we still don't have Wi-Fi things are imperfect but they're looking up 
because we have food. But we did order this like shrimp salad and this is how it came. It doesn't look like a salad. It's not a salad. We did last minute order a pizza because we saw some other people's pizza and it looked amazing. So that is coming. This is Mia trying to model right now in it's front of the big Mia, tree. Can you help stop? Up? I just don't know how to get off. Uh, I got another photo idea. <laughs> We've been out here for a while. Out here in the woods, going a little crazy. Luckily, we had a friend who was able to drive up and come rescue us. Shout out to Colby <laughs> for coming and rescuing us. The moment when we came back and we started clearing everything out, it felt like how it must feel to come back to your home after a fire. Like our home was just destroyed. Everything was everywhere. It was just a really sad experience. But cleaning it out. Emptying out everything. This is the reality. It feels like so sad. It was a hell of a, a day, day and we were already all like shaken up and then having to like deal with all of the drama about it. And the worst part was that we couldn't even call the, the RV owner because we had no service. I couldn't even like let him know what was happening until we finally got out of Sequoia. Do you know what time the accident happened? I think it was Early. like around noon. Yeah. It was around Sometime noon the and we didn't have service to tell anyone what was happening until like nine. That was just pretty stressful. Spencer, Mia's boyfriend was really stressed about it. A lot of people were just on edge. We couldn't contact anyone. Our grandma was not happy when she heard afterwards. Yeah. Well, because we were able to call like one or two people, but we weren't able to like keep calling and texting people. Or like I couldn't be like looking up stuff on my phone. Yeah. We just had to like ask everyone for help. That's pretty much it in terms of the accident. Now we're back in LA and we still have a lot to figure out, but we're just glad to be home and safe. Honestly, I had the time of my life before the accident happened. We were having an awesome trip. It was so beautiful. Beautiful. Sequoia is one of the prettiest places I've ever been and I'm really sad that our trip got cut short. That was a pretty big end of our summer. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, a big bang, way to really. end it. It feels so crazy because I feel like we all kind of thought something bad might happen. I feel like I didn't. I thought it would be like the toilet well, stops we, working. We like, like, when we were starting off on the trip, we took three thumbnails and one of the thumbnails we took was like, Sage was like grabbing at the <laughs> wheel and I was like, oh my God, and Mia was in the back with, with a pot. Pan. The thumbnail looks like we're about to Chaotic. get in an accident. So like we literally have a thumbnail for this purpose, which we didn't plan. We didn't I plan like we, I mean, I think it was, like a really great trip. We definitely had a lot of work to do. My nails are very chipped. Yeah, I'm like yeah. hiding, I'm this hiding video. them. Especially after the accident, but even just in general, the RV was so much work. It's not easy. There's always something happening. There's always something that's leaking. There's something that's broken. So I get it. I mean, we did an RV trip when we were younger and our mom hated it and I loved it. And like now knowing what like the adult goes through who has yeah. to deal with it all, like it's hard. Yeah. On the bright side, I think one of my favorite things ever was being able to drive anywhere and come back to our home. Be able to park in a random forest. Like yeah. we were able to be adventurers. I loved that. Yeah. Or or driving through beautiful views, watching the sunset while laying. Laying in on bed. the bed. Yeah, that was, was like so magical. cool. Looking out the window at all the trees, like laying in our bedroom. I'll never forget the way that looked. Like yeah. the beauty of that moment. With all the bad that happened, there's equal amount good. It's like you can't have one or the other. It had to be so beautiful and so terrifying. At at the same time. Yeah, and you know what? Right after the accident happened, I was thinking about it, and I still really felt like that day we had the day before outweighed everything that was happening because it was like such a beautiful, magical day. I mean, Mia probably has a different yeah, experience. Yeah. I honestly, before the crash, I really did enjoy driving up and down the mountain because it was kind of like a nice, simple activity, and like I got to enjoy the view. I can't really do like hiking and stuff like that. I hiked for a little bit to like one of the big trees, but only for a few minutes. Yeah. It it was harder for me in some ways because they would go off on like walks or bike rides and I would be in, waiting in the RV. <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi, so. Yeah, it's so sad because Mia's one request is to be like dropped off at a yeah. shopping center and, and there's no happened. shopping centers in Sequoia. And we did not have service or Wi-Fi the majority of the trip. <laughs> Which was nice. It was too. awesome. The only times that I went on my phone was like change music and stuff and like that was just like really refreshing. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest lessons learned from this is safety first. I think a lot of times with video 
videos, I will do really crazy things and I'll put my safety second. And in this situation, instead of going for maybe a nicer, newer RV, Three. I went for the one that was pretty. You know, if dad was coming on this trip with us, he probably would have done extensive research on what kind of car it was, the safety of the yeah. car. That's stuff that like an adult looks into and we're adults now and we have to think about these things. It's sad but we did have fun. It's a learning experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up because we're alive. Subscribe because we're alive so you can see more content. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching the Feldman sisters this summer. Yeah, it's yeah. Been a great this was the best summer. summer. This is our last video, like the three of us this summer. Yes. That was like our big shrubbing finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all the summer Feldman sister videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.